Hi folks and welcome to the tutorial. Today I would like to talk about some techniques that I used in my video called Cotton or Children of the Nautilus. I will uh, drop the link below uh, so you can have a look and um, actually there was a certain sequence that people asked me emails about and asked me what did you do there? And And actually this piece here, this sliced metaball object. Let's have a look again. So people ask me what's going on there and um, I will just break down the original project file with you so you can see what I did there. Right, so let me play it back here just uh, you can see this is the original project file that I used. It's a bit slow in the playback, but anyway. So let's uh, switch another perspective like here. Let's watch it again. We can see from the side, the camera is just over here. Actually, it's not so complicated uh, as far as you are not completely new to Cinema 4D. So what have we here? Um, let me pull that piece apart. So we have a metaball object, which is just looking like this. It's just created with a random, with a, 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 a cloner object. A, a, with the um, random effector on it, and it's just and it's just moving our spheres. So then this uh, cloner is put into a metaball object with a hole value of seven hundred and a render subdivision of eight, which is. Uh, which is not the subdivision that I used in my editor window, which is just uh, 16 centimeters. So if you look at this, it's just moving around. So and I tried some variations of that before I had the piece that I find suitable for my animation. So and then I dropped, uh, created another piece just just looking like this it's um so in the other element is um just a bunch of uh, cubes actually it's created uh, of cubes just very uh, thin cubes uh, all put together in uh, a cloner and then i dropped everything into a bool object like like this and I set the mode to intersect so A intersecting B switch off high quality because it was uh, creating some annoying artifacts artifacts and um, when you play it back it's just looking like this so this is where our uh, clones come in and then they're pushing through the metaball object Right, so let's get a little bit closer. So we now uh, increase the distance of our clones here, like say to 500. So you can have a more a, a broader gap between the elements of your sliced metaphor. And and then in the end, I, I just put everything to connect object to give it a, a texture. And basically that's it. Uh, so um, and then we, you have something like this. So thanks for watching. Um, so please join my tutorial group here on Vimeo or on or my YouTube channel. You can send me requests if you want to know more about the techniques that I used in uh, cotton. And thanks for watching. See you soon.